Okay, in this example, uh, we are going to uh, solve the static problem for this uh, two degrees of freedom planar robot using uh, or assuming that we have a force uh, that is applied in the n effector robot and then um, the idea is to use these uh, numerical values in order to obtain the statistics equation and then uh, verify the numerical results. Also in this problem we are uh, going to assume that uh, the masses that we have for the link 1 and link 2 are equal to 0 and therefore uh, only the external force is the only force that is going to affect the uh, statics uh, analysis. Okay, so in the solution, um, using our statics formulation, we need to uh, obtain the Jacobian matrix. This Jacobian matrix was obtained in the uh, direct velocity analysis. For that case, uh, we have uh, a square matrix, a two by two matrix, where we have the same coordinates of the n effector, x and y, and the same number of degrees of freedom, theta 1 and theta 2. Now, the range, because the only external force that is applied on this robot is only a uh, external force uh, applied along the x and y axis, we only have two components. Now, with these two components, the Jacobian matrix and the range, we can substitute in this uh, static formulation, and then we can only make this uh, matrix multiplication and then uh, also remember that we have this uh, minus sign we obtain the both equations to uh, have these torques that we need to apply in order to balance this external force and um, to keep the robot in that position okay now uh, for the last uh, Part, we are going to substitute these numerical values in our uh, first equation for the torque, the, uh, the torque for uh, the joint variable one, and then this is our numerical result. And for the second equation for the second uh, joint, we also uh, have our numerical results. With uh, this, uh, we obtain these uh, torques that we need to compensate and balance against this external force in the n-effector point.